In the wake of a wave of coups across former French colonies in Africa, France is grappling with a shifting landscape that no longer allows it to take its military role on the continent for granted. Rising protests against France's military presence in Africa have drawn attention to its once unchallenged dominance. Recent events, including the expulsion of French troops from Niger and Mali, and the reconsideration of long-standing independence-era agreements, cast a shadow on the historical backdrop of over 30 direct French military interventions between 1964 and 1995. The fundamental question that surfaces in this complex scenario is, why does France maintain military bases in Africa? Welcome to Africa Info Hub. To ensure that you don't miss out on any more exceptional content like this, kindly leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Since the dawn of African independence, France has harbored a strategic objective articulated by Dr. Bakary Sam, director of the Timbuktu Institute, as the need to perpetuate and safeguard the stability and durability of certain regimes. This drive led France to consider West Africa and the Sahel as a natural realm for exerting its influence. Professor Bruno Charbonneau, an expert on peace and conflict interventions in West Africa, concurs, highlighting how France's military presence in Africa positions it at the epicenter of conflict resolution and management mechanisms. This strategic advantage extends particularly within French-speaking Africa and at the UN Security Council. This military support to friendly African regimes has allowed France to safeguard its own interests and swiftly intervene in armed conflicts when necessary. The French Defence Ministry aligns its primary mission with training soldiers in the region, enhancing their capabilities in counter-terrorism, border security, and maritime protection. This includes peacekeeping, intelligence operations, and logistical support. These objectives dovetail with the reinforcement of African Peacekeeping Capacities Program, initiated in the late 1990s, which encompasses collaboration between France, the UK, and the US. Senegal plays a pivotal role in overseeing training for all 15 members of the West African Regional Bloc, ECOWAS, alongside neighboring Mauritania. The number of French troops stationed in these countries has dwindled in recent years. Yet, several thousand soldiers remain deployed in strategic locations. Chad, with nearly 1,000 troops, known as the French forces in Chad, tasked with protecting French interests and nationals. They provide logistical and intelligence support to Chad's army and engage in regional counterterrorism initiatives, with bases in Najamana, a Besh in the east, and a detachment in fire in the north. Djibouti, home to the most substantial French contingent, comprising 1,500 soldiers stationed under agreements ranging from 1977 to 2014. Gabon, where French forces have maintained a presence since the country's independence in 1960, officially renamed as French Elements in Gabon in 2014. The French Elements in Gabon comprises 350 troops and includes a land unit at the Charles de Gaulle camp in Libreville, and an air unit at the nearby Guipadou Air Base. Ivory Coast, operating as the center of French operational control. A forward operating base was established there in 2015 through a defense partnership. For over a decade, at least 950 soldiers were deployed as part of Operation Le Corn a French peacekeeping force established in the aftermath of the 2002 civil war. Senegal, with a contingent of nearly 400 soldiers, known as the French Elements of Senegal EFS, since 2011, focusing on regional military training. The EFS operates from two camps in Dakar and can use the city's military airport, along with a high-frequency radio transmitting station near Dakar at Rufisk. Recent events have seen the beginning of the withdrawal of 1,300 to 1,500 soldiers from Niger, accompanied by fighter planes and drones engaged in counter-terrorism operations. This withdrawal followed the request of coup leaders in July, reflecting the evolving dynamics in the region. Professor Tony Chafer of the University of Portsmouth in the UK, 
argues that Africa offers France international clout that it would otherwise lack as a mid-sized power. France's military involvement plays an essential role in justifying its permanent seat on the UN Security Council, particularly when addressing security matters concerning West and Central Africa at the UN or within the international community. Furthermore, France has been diligent in nurturing its economic and diplomatic ties with Africa. This is evident in its continued links to the CFA franc currencies, tethered to the French Treasury and its cultivation of close bonds with ruling elites. The persistence of this relationship is a legacy of France's colonial history and its shrewd negotiation of its exit, often characterized as pretending to leave so they can dig in deeper, as some have suggested. In the late 1990s, Ivorian reggae star Alpha Blondie sang, French armies, go away, signaling a new era of sovereignty. However, the surge of Islamist militancy in West Africa compelled France to redeploy troops. Operation Serval in Mali, launched in response to jihadists seizing the northern part of the country in 2012, marked the initial phase. It was subsequently replaced by Operation Barkhane, a more extensive counterinsurgency mission that concluded in November 2022. Dr. Sam argues that both of these operations failed as terror groups proliferated in the region. Doubts arose in countries about the significance of France's strategic presence, with ideas and conspiracy theories suggesting that France might be attracting or exacerbating the terrorist threat. Coupled with calls for sovereignty, particularly emanating from a younger generation, there is a growing impetus to see French troops exit. Recent military coups in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger, where junta leaders expelled French soldiers, garnered public support, further underscoring the desire for the withdrawal of French troops. As French soldiers left Mali last year at the behest of Bamako, the security situation deteriorated. Human rights violations escalated, and Malians found themselves even less secure. Mali's military turned to the Russian mercenary group, Wagner, as a new ally, raising concerns about their role and impact. This alliance also disrupted a peace agreement with an ethnic Tuareg rebel alliance, which has since seized territory in the north as foreign forces withdraw. Dr. Sam contends that subcontractors, self-defense militias, and paramilitary groups, such as Wagner, are not the answer. He calls for a concerted effort, advocating for the pooling of forces from ECOWAS, the African Union, and other standby forces and emphasizes the need to move towards the Africanization of security efforts in the region. Intriguing and intricate, the existence of French military bases in Africa is a complex issue entwined with historical, geopolitical, and security dimensions. It continues to be a subject of vigorous debate, and the future of France's military presence in Africa remains uncertain. What did you think of our video? Please share your thoughts on our video in the comment section below. If you found it enjoyable, we encourage you to spread the word to your friends and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with your social circle on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter as well.